here for the Epcot 40th anniversary. That is the line to get into Creations. The wife is waiting there, and I have a Guardian's reservation, so I'm heading over there. We might also meet some friends. Film much of this. You made it! What you see before me is the cosmic generator. And in just a few moments, we'll be activating it so you can experience for yourself what's happening. I'm not sure. Our power is out. And the cosmic generator is gone. Cheer your mind. Go to Code Red. Prepare the fleet. And call the guard. Now! I've got an important transmission coming in. Hey, what's up, Nova Corp? Our cosmic generator has been stolen. What? How? Why didn't we think of that? That thing's gotta be worth a fortune. I am Groot. <laughs> okay, they're headed for the jump point. This plane is never gonna work. Rocket! Well? Okay, I've walked on to your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. Unless we cannot stop this unusually large man. Then you're likely doomed. We have no room in our ship for these new Drax, it's an honorary title. They're not coming with us. I see. It is meaningless. Well, then welcome to the Guardians of the Galaxy. I made it. I made it. There's a show, a special dedication to the 40th anniversary. And thankfully, this guy, hi, everybody, is here. And he was waiting in the line. So, I get to go into the show. Go into the show. show. Go into the show. <laughs> All right, I didn't know what the show is. was made for you and me, Epcot began as a dream, twinkling in the eye of one, Mr. Walter Elias Disney. Yeah. When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are, anything your heart desires will come to. Share for today. 
And there is still so much more to celebrate as we move forward through this multi-year transformation. I mean, we've already introduced new neighborhoods that are going to connect us to one another and to our beautiful world. Like World Discovery, where we recently opened Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Woo! Rewind. Woo! And inside World Nature, we are working on Journey of Water, inspired by Moana, which is dedicated to understanding and preserving the beauty, the awe, and the balance of the natural world. And soon, guests will be able to see a new statue of Walt Disney at Dreamer's Point in World Celebration. Walt, a dreamer, reminds us every single day of the magic of possibilities, that our dreams are not too big, and it is sure to inspire the dreamer in us all, and that is what Epcot is all about. Epcot's also about our incredible cast members and Imagineers, so I'd like to give a huge thank you and congratulations to all of those cast members and Imagineers who have made this incredible transformation possible. And a huge congratulations to Partika and the entire Epcot team and family on once again completing another successful milestone. We also want to take a moment to thank you all for making this day so awesome. Thank you. I am booking it to the store because the wife is still in there and I might be able to get in. We're going to see. First off, I want to thank the wife. She did all of the filming for this merchandise mainly because I was out gallivanting and she did an awesome job. Thank you so much, babe. This is the Passholder Ringer t-shirt. These are $34.99. have the date on the sleeve. Passholder. This is the day of shirt, not Passholder. You can see it has the date. And these were $29.99. I really like the design on the back of this one. The Spirit jerseys were $74.99. And if you guys are interested in some of this stuff, check shopdisney.com because a lot of this merchandise is on Shop Disney right now. This is the Epcot Magic Band Plus. They were $54.99. I was really interested in this one, but if you're going to go Magic Band Plus, you'll probably go Star Wars. This is a gigantic pin from what we can understand. And it's $115, but it is huge. This hoodie was $64.99. Quite the nice design. I love all the bright colors. I love how they have just figmented everything for this 40th anniversary. Like the back of this hoodie, which is awesome. Love the pattern, love the figment. They had special pins for each country with the Epcot 40. They were 18 bucks and they were pretty cool.
seven bucks. It's adorable. We use on the shirt. Ah, we bought one. This time, it was time for some food, and we wanted to try something at a place we never eat. The Seasons in the Land Pavilion? Because they had birria tacos, and I really wanted to try them. I got it! My Donald Zipper! I am so excited about this. He was $13, he's shaped like a candy corn. I was bummed, I thought this was only going to uh, California. Birria tacos. I talked about this on the Dad and Drew show and I wanted to try it. You take your taco, you dip it in your consomme. That's good. Cheesy. They did a good birria taco. That was in no way enough food, so we are making our way over to the World Showcase to check out a food booth or two and get some food. I want some more regular food and I want a good dessert. They were sold out of a special Epcot 40th anniversary cake over at Seasons, which made me a little mad. Like, it's so early in the day. How are you sold out? So we got to find another dessert. I, I want dessert. Thankfully, on the way to find food, we stopped in the port of entry and we found these awesome Vans 50th sneakers. And they're like these boat shoe ones, which they happen to have in dad's size. And I think, yep, nope, they did. They went home with me. It's a little warm today. 
No slushy helps. Nice. And a giant donut. Joffrey's makes a good donut. That's gonna do it for us from Epcot's 40th anniversary today. I have to get home because Pop-Up is watching the kiddo and we can't leave him with her all day. So we gotta head home. Dad may love his Joffrey's donuts and coffee and celebrate the 40th anniversary of Epcot, but Dad doesn't do outros. So that's it, bye.